Okay, so it's July 1st, uh, 2016, Fort Myers, and we have a great patient, a medical doctor from North Georgia who had an unusual problem. Uh, you were extremely myopic, nearsighted, that is, uh, up to minus 20 diopters, which is very, very unusual. Um, you had bilateral cataract surgery without implants because the length of your eyeball, uh, the, the spectacle correction afterwards was basically in the normal range without an implant because of that. And you also had some myopic, what we call retinal degeneration, a little worse in the left eye, which is extremely disabled, and the right eye, which is partially disabled. But aside from that, you had a vitreous detachment with a fairly thick membrane that would intermittently obscure your vision to a very serious degree. And with diminished vision, it, this problem was magnified. So we we performed, what, uh, four or five laser sessions on that eye? Uh, four. four. Just five. 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 Yeah, yeah. Five. And we had to split them up over uh, oh, a couple months. Yeah, 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 because of the uh, potential for elevated pressure in the eye. Five which we've treated. But what is your perception after this? I mean, obviously you still have some things floating around and you still have some intermittent blurring of, of your vision, but is it better? It is miraculously better. I've been at visual problems all my life, but this recent episode of the vitreous detachment and the floater had just about compromised my ability to work and to do what I love to do. And uh, Dr. Geller has, uh, this is my second trip to him. Uh, what he has done is nothing short of miraculous. I, I'm amazed at his skill and his interest and his uh, enjoyment of, of helping other people. Um, because of him, I'm going to be able to continue uh, in my present occupation as medical director of 10 nursing homes. And I expect to do it for uh, a couple of more years at least. I was about not to have to be able to do it. And because of Dr. Geller, I'm, I'm going to extend my practice. I'm currently 79 years old and I'm don't want to quit and sit at home. So I think I still have a lot to contribute and I'm very grateful to Dr. Geller for making that possible. And that's great. And you uh, also visit a very prominent retinal specialist, Dr. Frank, is it? Dr. Yeah. James Frank in Atlanta is a close personal friend and my retina doctor. Uh, he and Dr. Mark Halperin worked together with Atlanta Eye Consultants. And they, uh, like most retinal men, say, oh, the floater will go away, which is not exactly true. Uh, and I did, he did refer me to Dr. Geller, and I certainly uh, expect Dr. Geller to get a great many more referrals from Atlanta Eye Consultants when I get back and, and they look at my results. Well, yeah, and, and of course this can be done. It's all a matter of the equipment, the training, and understanding how far you can push the envelope to get the result. I think a lot of doctors wouldn't be willing to spend the time involved actually doing this. It's not a, an assembly line thing like sometimes cataract surgery is. It's pretty individualized and very time consuming, but I enjoy doing this. It's a great pleasure to, to help medical doctors especially. And I will do, give Dr. Frank a call. Uh, and uh, we gave you the video, correct, of your yes. procedure? And then yes. we'll show him uh, what can be done. Yeah. I will certainly spread the message, and I, I think it's just uh, nothing short of miraculous again. I, it has changed my life. Well, you're, you're a great patient. Uh, this is what keeps me going to enjoy seeing this kind of result. Uh, uh, someday, uh, doctors will adopt a procedure like this uh, widely, but uh, that day is not yet, and I'm still here. So what can I say? You're a great patient. Thank you for being here. Thank you very much.